Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. And the exact model for this one is, uh, is the exact model for this series is 5502 or also known as a 5509. The regulatory model for this one is P102F. Also, you can find that information on the bottom of the sticker on the bottom cover. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can upgrade the hard drive and what are the combinations for the hard drive you can have in here and types of the storage that you can have inside in here. Some people say, what are the maximum capacity? How many hard drives can I put? 2.5 inch SSD or what are the uh, results? And I'm going to cover those in this video. Also, before we start, you, you must know that by removing your main SSD from here, you are not going to have any operating system. I made a video how to create your Windows USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also made a video how to install Windows on your Dell, any Dell laptop. Those links can be found on my video description. All right. So first thing first, back up your files. If you are going to replace the 256 gig or 128 gig SSD that comes in here, go next to external storage. And then you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws and one big cover. The tools that we're going to be using, it's a screwdriver set, the iFixit screwdriver set. You can get the Pro set. They will include you with tweezers and opening tools and a few other stuff. Those are really handy. I love these tool sets. I purchased the simple set. They're, they're kind of expensive, but I could afford this one. And we're going to use a Phillips number zero. These are made out of S2 class steel. That means they will last you many years. Phillips number zero. Uh, for the opening tool, you can use a guitar pick. Uh, guitar pick and metallic ones are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Okay. With this one hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we're going to ignore the screws on each corner at the back. Right here on the corner, we're not going to remove this because these screws, they have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So we're going to leave these two alone for now. We're going to remove the one in the middle back and the side and the front row of the laptop. We're going to remove all these screws. Go ahead and remove them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys to do your own upgrades, servicing you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more video take requests and answer your questions in the commentary appreciate that all right once we remove all the screws except the two corner ones the reason for the c-lock on this laptop is really handy and i really like this idea once you start rotating this, you're going to realize that because of the C-lock, the cover is going to be pushed back and they're going to be opening right in here so you can stick the opening tool really easy. So watch the right over here as I start turning the screw. There you go. You see that opening right there? And once you hear a few, few click, that's where you want to stop. You want to do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Once you see this opening and a few clicks in there, you want to stop right there. And what you want to do first, you want to stick the guitar pick right in here. And you want to twist it backward. Work yourself every one or two centimeters. And do the side, same thing in here. You want to stick it right there and you want to twist it. Work yourself all the way to the front corner, all the way to the front side. The other end. And then the cover should come out pretty easy. So I'm going to put it down. I'm going to lift up the cover. There we have it. So you can see the C lock, which is right on the neck of the screw right there. That will prevent the screw from coming out. All right. And right away, we can see the battery and the whole RAM, the Wi Fi board. There is no space to put a 2.5 inch SSD or any mechanical drive, there is no space for mechanical drive or anything like that to put in here. So the only solution for upgrades in here, it's an uh, SSD hard drives, NVMe, only takes an NVMe hard drive, M.2. 
And from the factory, it comes with a really short NVMe right over here. And there's, these are PCI Express 4 Gen. So there's another one, it says right now PCI times four. And there's another one, SSD2, which goes right in here. As it comes with an NVMe. Unfortunately, on this side, they don't provide you with an screw. It takes few sizes, M2230, M2242, or M2280, which is the full size, which are these ones. To install additional NVMe, you want to make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch right on the uh, cover right on the jack right there. And before we go anywhere further, some people like uh, they feel safe by removing the battery or disconnecting the battery. You do not need absolutely to disconnect the battery to do this upgrade. But if you want to be paranoid, you can just put your fingernails at the end of the jack right in here and pull this connector backward and bring it really back. And there we have it. Then you can just disconnect it right there. Okay. But for this video, you don't need to. You want to put it back together. Just put it evenly straight right through there. Okay. Back to the SSD. To put it in, all you need to do is make sure the notch under uh, SSD matches the notch right under them. You want to bring it down in 10 or 15 degree all the way and then push it towards the jack. And then you want to see the SSD is staying up like this. And you want to get your screw for the SSD and you just want to screw it right in there, put it right in there. Okay. And I'll put the link for the SSD that uh, for the screws for this M.2 SSD if you need to purchase yours. And if you want to get the different sizes, I'll put those links in here too. And the main SSD is right over here. This is a really small one. To remove this one, there's one screw right at the back. You can remove this one. This one is a Phillips number. Somebody opened this SSD and the screw head is kind of messed up. So I'm going to use a Phillips number one. Okay, so remove the screw right there. And the SSD should come out because the cable right in here is preventing it from coming out. I'll move the cable to one side and the SSD will pop open in 45 degree picture. Next, you want to pull it out in the same angle. So these are the small ones. There's no DRAM cache or anything on here. So I don't recommend this one. Grab a good brand, Samsung, which they have a DRAM cache. And the RAM chip, I mean, memory chips are right there, controller, everything. So get a proper size NVMe. And if you want to replace this one, you can pull this jack forward. This is just a riser. You can slide it. It just comes out like this. And I move this cable right out of the way. So leave it like that. So pretty much this is just a uh, floating riser. You can remove it from there and put it back here in case you want to put a bigger SSD. So slide it right in there. So you can put a bigger SSD in here in 45 degree and bring it down. But uh, you have to flip the riser that way around. So that means you have to pull it out and rotate. Put it like this. Where she have to go right underneath. Bring it right there, make sure it clicks. Put it right in there and make sure the cable is out of the way. And bring it down and the, the screw hole matches and then you can put the screw right over on top. So I recommend you to get a proper size SSD. So this is for demonstration. So to remove it again, you want to slide it this way. Put it right there, the original one, slide it in a 45 degree, right in there, move the cable out of the way, and put the screw right over. I really don't like this cable that is really near this SSD right there, but anyway. So yeah, you have it right there. So you can have one SSD right here, NVMe, and another NVMe main one right over here. You can put a four terabyte and a four terabyte maximum SSD with no problem. We have upgraded them and there is no problem upgrading up to four terabyte. Anyways, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back together. 
And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top, squeeze the corners, make sure you those clicks, and the front end. And you have to make a nice click on the side, but don't push on the corners. First, you want to rotate the screw so the cover it pulls to itself. Just to a firmly rotation, you have to switch back to Phillips zero. And once you start screwing these corners, it's going to pull the cover to itself. Push the back end, make sure it does clicks. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws on the corners. I'm going to power on the laptop so you guys can see that it turns on. Um, because I get comments saying that no, that laptop shouldn't be turning on because it didn't disconnect the battery, this and that. So for those people that have a trust issue, I'm going to power on quickly right after this. So as soon as you open the screen, it should turn on because that has the option in the BIOS to power on once you flip the screen open. So let's wait five seconds because we have disconnected. And there we have the, the logo. So within a few seconds, we should be in the desktop right over there. And that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.